Welcome back to Kona. I was just leaving Roy's place to head further northeast, now that we have the car up and running and we've kind of fully explored the southern part, and I realized that there's something I've been neglecting to do. I haven't been looking at people's mailboxes, the ones that are kind of out by the street and far away from the homes. So this is Roy's. Letter for Wilfred. Dear Mr. Roy, I'm writing this because I feel guilty. The other day, Martin and I... Martin and I were taking a stroll not far from your house, and we saw that the door to your shed was open. I wanted us to mind our own business, but Martin likes living on the edge. He took a few shiny things, including some bullets. Now, my dad always told me never to play with those things, so I immediately put them back. But Martin hid the other things. I confess, Mr. Roy, I have so many regrets, but you mustn't call the police. You won't call them, will you? My father would be so angry. I'll bring back all your things, I promise. Ah, here's another one. This is... Bedard's place. Oh, it's a treasure map. Okay. X marks the spot. It's just a little bit north of the bottom building there. That'd be a little bit north of Cabin B, right? I think? Hmm. wonder if I need a shovel or something, though. Letter for Marie. My sweet Marie. May the treasure hunt begin. I have hidden wonderful little things for you to find all over the village, following my clues. You are holding in your hands the first map. The hunt begins at my place. You are so clever. I'm certain you will find everything. Martin. I wonder what I'm looking for. X marks the spot. Freshly dug stuff. Uh, not quite sure. Let's take another look at that map. By the way, I don't think that having an infinitely increasing, an, or an infinitely subdividing wheel of selection for every single document is exactly the greatest idea, because I feel like I'm only, like, maybe at most halfway through the game, and already, look at how many they, there are, and they're tiny. Oh god, it's so hard to find anything. Thankfully I know the treasure map is up here, because I already looked at it off-camera. So it's just north. What is that black line? It seems to be, like, on that black line. Is that a trail? Uh, must be... whatever. Well, there's some sort of a line on the map. I don't know what that means exactly. But yeah, it's just head north. Is that it? Oh, it must be. There's a toy in there. Alright, got another one. Treasure map 2. Ah, so from our current position, we need to go above that shack that we found. If I remember right, that shack was locked, wasn't it? I could drive there, but nah, might as well just walk, right? Okay, just a little bit north of here. Ah, seems like it's always marked by a fallen tree. Keep going north, pretty much. Yeah, this one's... that's actually a walking trail that's actually marked on the map. Look at how thick that is. So that's what the dashed lines on the map are, huh? Impenetrable... Trees? I'm not sure if these are all trees. They're very spindly if they are. Ooh, 
I think I'm almost there. Oh, it's probably right under... Yeah, I see it. How am I doing on heat? Uh, halfway. Ice wall. Ooh, that one's pretty far away. Uh... Wait, that one says... To the right is north? So this one's kind of rotated in a weird way, huh? So I believe the next one is south from here and maybe a little bit east. It's like kind of in between cabin A and cabin B. Probably about there. Should be really close. Wait, I see a down tree over here. Yes, there it is. Then I guess that's the final, the final place. Um, it looks like gas there, so I think it's to the right and a little bit down from the general store. Is that right? General store, campfire. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I believe it's here, right about where I'm facing. Maybe a little bit more this way. Look like it was right before the the water. Right before the river. My vision's so blurry. I'm halfway down on heat. It's not too bad. Pretty sure it's on this side of the river. Yeah, it should be somewhere nearby. Let's try further up here. There's more. Thought that was the end. Um. Okay, from where I currently am to the other side of the river. Oh God, wolves! But a steak alone cannot subdue a starving stomach. An appetite comes with eating. Oh, I only noticed they were coming after me just because. Of the uh, the music, like the the music changed. I didn't even see them. They were behind me. I'm just running for the general's door because I need heat. Okay, it was a little bit tricky because the map was upside down, but it should be right about where my my line is pointing, like right at the edge of that little river. I think I see it. I see a down tree. Or like a, a bent tree. Making an X. X marks the spot. Oh my god, there's more. How many are there? Okay, so the next one should actually be super close. It looks like it's, um... You see that, like pale patch of green just in front of that dotted line in front of me. It should be right at the edge of that pale patch of green on the far edge. So that's super close actually.
Ah. So I think that's just further down the, the little river on my left, right? Yeah. It's like down there where my line intersects with the river. I feel like it's going to end right back at, like, at Martin's house. <laughs> like, it's just leading back to Martin's house. And it's like, yeah, I just put it under my bed. Ooh, I don't have any more meat left. If I see wolves again, um, I might have to shoot. Ooh, how am I doing on the heat? Eh, halfway. Further down. Yep. Can't jump over some small rocks. Damn it, Carl. How do I get there then? <laughs> Go there. Literally, it won't even let me. Look at those tiny little iceberg pieces. I know they're not actually icebergs, but they look like small icebergs. Yeah, so. I, I guess I just go through the fence and then try to find a break in it or something. Wait a second. I swear I went to Bedard's house. Did I not? I just ran over here just because I'm really low on heat. And the door's locked, which means I must not have gone inside, and I just moved this carpet aside, and there's a key. Did I really not go in here? Wow. Well, I'm gonna explore the house, I think. Oh god, wolves. Shit. I'm gonna explore the house after I do the treasure hunt. I'm gonna stuck on that. Um, yeah, just from their house I was able to get through a break in the fence and that took me back here. Um, maybe I can just avoid them, right? I don't need to go there. I'm sure there's nothing important. Right? Yeah, Trisha's up here. I'll just avoid him. Okay, next one's around here, like kind of below Roy's place. However, in front of me are more wolves. Oh, I see some trees over there that are probably, probably it. Is that a building? Like a little shack? It is. Huh, that's not on the map. Ooh, maybe I should try the flares and see if that scares them away. I mean, the safer thing would be just to avoid them, though, because I don't actually have to go for them. Polaroid. I can only take one? Oh. I am curious about the flares. I really don't want to get their attention if I don't have to, though. Yeah, I'm just going to avoid them. 
Save the flares for the ice cave or something. Oh. There's a lot of trees that look like this here. What if the wolves are actually, like, digging up the treasure? I don't see any box there, though. Yeah, I looked at the map again. It looks like it's actually... Oh, bring the map up again, please. Right there. Right where that's pointing. It's, like, right at that pale green batch once again. I see it. Letter from Marie, my sweet Marie. If you're holding this letter, it means you have figured out every puzzle. Congratulations. You'll be happy to know that we can now bring these treasures back to Mr. Roy. My father would tell you that you fear the good lord too much. If he was to venture deep into the woods, carrying a flare gun definitely wouldn't hurt, Carl assumed. At best, he could probably scare some beasts off. At worst, he was in for a nice little firework. Oh, nice! Okay, so it'll definitely work with the wolves. I just assumed they were the kind of flares that you just activate with your hand. But no, that's like the flares that go in a flare gun. Well, we gotta test that out on the wolves. Right now, actually. Here we go. Yeah, nice! Is that equipment? What? What is it? What does it look like? Strange. Can't look at it, can't get a description. Must be important though. I wonder why the wolves would be going at it. Okay, I want to see what these wolves are going after too. Looks like just some supplies. Oh, another flare. That's nice. Well, in that case, it's totally worth it. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to check out Bedard's house.